Hi folks and welcome to today's video in which I'm going to explain to you what a Google Drive is. Now, most of us have a Gmail account, we've got Gmail on our phones and devices, but many of us don't realize that with that Gmail account that we have, we actually have access to an online storage space where we can upload files, folders and even share those documents and folders and files with other people. Okay, so this is just my browser that I've opened and I'm going to sign in to my account. And there you can see that is my account. I'm going to click on that and I need to just enter my password. Hopefully I remember it. <laughs> and what is important now is not me just getting into the Gmail, um, but it's actually going here to these items and going down to Drive. OK, so I'm going to click on Drive. You'll see it opens up a new tab. And this is my online storage space. OK, so this is a place where I can and you can see I've got up to 15 gigs that I can use to store files, folders, you know, anything like that. All I would simply do is click on new and say, you know what, I want to upload a file. I want to upload a folder and you can even create folders by simply clicking on this button over here. Now, the nice thing about uh, your online drive, and I'm just going to do this, is that I can even drag and drop items. So I can take this uh, picture here, for example, and I can simply drag it over. And you can see there that will throw it into my drive, but I can even drag it into a particular folder and it will store it then into that folder. So I'm just going to throw it into my drive. And here it says uploading item. And there we go. There you can see there's my item. Now, the beauty of the Google Drive is not only that we have an online space where we can save it. I mean, you, you're not doing anything other than creating a Gmail account. So if you have a Gmail account, you actually have a Google Drive already. The beauty of this is I can share things with people. So um, let's say this picture, for example, I'm going to right click on it and I can share this with folks. So if, for example, you have a document that multiple people need to edit or contribute to, you can actually go and share it and type in the person's email address. Or once you've done with that, if you don't want to do it that way, you can click on get link. And this link will allow you, then you can copy it and you can send it to someone and you can decide you know, whether it's just restricted access or, you know, anyone that has the link. But once they've got that, they will have access to just this particular item. If I have to take, for example, um, this folder, the master guide folder here, and I've got to say um, share it, it means I'm going to share access to the entire folder with someone. OK, so. Folks, you know, you can use this in many, many different ways for myself uh, with teaching and that I have resources for the different grades and I can share these resources with my uh, learners. I can send them a link via WhatsApp and they'll only have access to that, not everything in the drive. OK, that's the beauty of this as well. I can give people individual access or groups of people individual access to certain files or folders that I have on my drive. But that in a nutshell, just, a, just for the beginners, is what a Google Drive is and what you can actually do with it.